Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. So today is going to be a story time of the time that I was almost scammed out of $10,000. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So a little bit ago, I am really feeling hopeless and helpless. I am in the thick of my binge eating disorder. I'm feeling completely out of control. I feel like I can't get a handle of it. I feel like I'm never gonna be cured of this. I feel like just really helpless, hopeless. I'm, I'm dealing with a lot of self-hatred. Why can't I just conquer this? Why does everything have to be so hard for me? Just really in this really unhealthy self-pity cycle, but also was also really struggling with my binge eating disorder. And I was watching this video and I came across this ad that to me was a sign. Oh my gosh, here's this video. I'm dealing with my binge eating disorder in a really incredibly hard way. So here's this woman saying that she too has dealt with binge eating and she has the answer. And all you have to do is schedule a call and she is going to help you. So I'm like, okay, awesome. This is exactly what I needed. This is my sign. So I schedule immediately because, oh my gosh, here is someone who's been through this and is going and has been where I am currently right now, but she's healthy. She's made it through. So I immediately schedule a call with her. We get on a call and she is so incredibly sweet. She is so soft-spoken. She's so empathetic to things that I'm sharing. I, she had, we had built some level of trust and I really trusted this woman. Not only had she gone through what I am currently dealing with and, and feeling so helpless with, but she's also understanding. She's understanding what I'm going through. She's understanding what I'm talking about. So I open up to her in ways that I do not open up to people. And I don't know why, I don't know how it happened, it just naturally happened. So I share all of these things with her and in this process, again, she's very empathetic, she's very sweet, she's very kind. And I'm thinking in this time period, I am so glad that we've come in contact. I'm thinking in my head, obviously, I know that this is a program she's selling and I'm thinking, okay, it's probably gonna be about $500 and I'm ready. I'm ready to give this woman my $500. I'm just ready. So we go through, this is what you're gonna get. It's a lifetime program, blah, blah, blah. It's amazing. Again, I've conquered this. I know the answer. I have the answer. And so she proceeds to tell me that this program cost $10,000. And she says it just like this. Okay, well all you have to do today is give me $10,000. Would you like to put that on credit card? Would you like to split it up on two different credit cards? How would you like to pay today? And I just look at her and I say, um, I, I, I don't, First of all, I'm shocked. I'm completely shocked. Because again, I'm thinking $500, $1,000 at the most. And I was even prepared because she had the answer. I was prepared to give this woman my money. I was not, however, prepared for her to tell me to drop that bombshell that it was gonna be $10,000 at the cost of $10,000. Okay, so. <laughs> I proceed to tell her that I don't have that kind of money. Well, I can put it on two separate kind of credit cards. Just give me two separate credit cards. It's gonna be okay. Ma'am, I don't have credit cards with that limit. I, I just, I don't have the money. I, I don't know what you expect me to do or what you expect me to say because there is just no way I can just come up with this money. What, what I'm about to tell you guys that she says you need to prepare yourselves for. It is unbelievable, unbelievable, downright disgusting what she says to me. She says, so you mean to tell me you can't come up with this money 
But if your child, one of your children, the ones that you're trying to change for, the ones that you're living your life for and that you need to change for so that they don't see their mom overweight and living, continuing to live the kind of life that you're living, if they needed life-changing surgery, that you would not find a way to find the $10,000 to save their life. Like, excuse me, what did you just say to me? I know, I know, I know, I know that you are not comparing your program, which by the way doesn't, she doesn't have the answer. She's a manipulative, skiving, skiving, she's a manipulative scammer who's taking people's money like it's nothing. Your program is nothing compared to saving someone's life. Will I go to the depths of the earth to do whatever it is to save my child? Um, duh, of course I would. Would I go to the depths of the earth to get out loans and ask people and, and, and get out credit cards and go into all this debt for your stupid program that I really don't know much about? No, and how dare you? How dare you even compare the two? And obviously, we're on this, we're face, we're face to face. We are FaceTiming, basically. And so, it is hard for me to, I'm really feeling uncomfortable. I am feeling really uncomfortable. And I keep telling her, you're making me feel really uncomfortable because when I told her I don't have the money, I don't know what you want me to do, and she's like, Borrow it from your parents. I'm sure your parents have it. Take, take out a loan. Get it, get, get it from your checking account. <laughs> what makes you think I have $10,000 in my checking or savings account just sitting around that I'm not saving for something specific? <sighs> so I'm telling her, you're making me feel really uncomfortable. To which she proceeds to say, you're making excuses. And she used all of the things that I told her in confidence against me. And she starts saying all of these things about how my kids are suffering and how my kids need a mom who's willing to fight for her life and yada, 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 and all of these horrible things. She went from being this amazing, empathetic, wonderful human kind human being to the wicked west the wicked witch of the west in like 5.2 seconds it was like someone just flipped a switch and she went from <sighs> to <sighs> and it, it was again making me feel so uncomfortable and the fact that we were, you know, obviously, if I was on the phone with her, the minute I told her 10000 the minute she told me $10,000, I would have hung up. I would have been like, boop, done. But because we are face to face, like I am talking to her on this phone, it is much harder for me to hang up on her. And so she, we go in this cycle for like five minutes of her telling me, borrow it from this person, you're making excuses, just being a horrible, mean person and attacking me and making me feel so shameful, so guilty, so all of the negative emotions, like I am doing something wrong, I should be able, like I, why am I not, why am I not prioritizing giving this woman $10,000? Like maybe her, maybe her program is the answer, maybe it is the end all be all, maybe she does have the answer and I'm here to tell you, this woman does not have the answer. The answer is you've got to do the work. We know logically what the answer is. We do, we just don't wanna do it because it brings up all of these old hurts and pains and, and triggers, and, and but we have to go through that. And honestly, when we do go through that, we're still, at, for the rest, for the rest of my life, I am going to forever deal with binge eating. And that does not make me a horrible person. It makes me a person that has gone through a lot of things. And I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional, but for this woman to make me feel 
Like, I was not prioritizing what I should be prioritizing. And for her to even compare my child needing a life-saving surgery with her program is downright absolutely disgusting. And for her to continue to bash me and attack me is even more disgusting. So I finally tell her, you are making me uncomfortable. I am hanging up right now. So as I'm like fumbling to, you know, cause my phone is up against something, you know, and, and as I'm fumbling to, to find the hang up button and to hang up on her, cause I've got to pick it up and hang, she's attacking me. You're continuing to make excuses for your life. You don't want to change. You, you're not serious about this. Don't you want a better life for your kids? You're, you're this and you're that. Click. But literally, from the minute that I told her I'm hanging up, from the minute that I told this woman that I was, she was making me uncomfortable, she should have stopped. And she didn't. And that's not okay. It's not okay to, to, to have people trust you and to be this amazing, empathetic person and then to just flip your switch when, when someone is like, yeah, no, I'm sorry. And had the program been $500 to $1,000, I would have found a way to make it happen but for what? What would she have given me that someone else couldn't have given me? This woman does not have the answer. She is a manipulative scammer who is manipulating people out of their hard earned money and a lot of it too. So my tips for anyone that is going through something like this is number one, the minute that someone, that you tell someone that you, whether it's face to face, whether it's over the phone, the minute you tell someone that you are uncomfortable, you either get up and leave or you hang up. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care because people like this do not stop. And as a matter of fact, they're gonna attack you and they're gonna make you get off that phone. I got off that phone feeling so many different emotions. I felt shamed, I felt attacked, I felt used and abused, I was angry, I was just not in a good place. So here I was thinking this is gonna be an amazing thing. To, to feeling like absolute crap, I need to go binge now. I didn't go do that, but you know what I mean? <sighs> Number two, I feel in situations like this, if you're seeking out someone specifically for an eating disorder, make sure that they have some kind of some kind of credentials some kind of credentials that you're reading reviews that you're doing research before you ever even commit to a time number three don't be afraid to say no and don't be afraid to tell the person i need more time to think about this ten thousand dollars is an enormous amount of money and the fact that this woman was looking at me like ten ten thousand dollars was like five was she was asking me for twenty five dollars it's just, it's still mind blowing, mind boggling to me. I wish you guys could have seen the way that this woman reacted, like $10,000 was no big deal and how she made me feel so insignificant for the fact that I did not have $10,000 just lying around for her. Number three tip for you guys is if you're ever in a situation like this, do not share too much information up front. Tell this person, yes, I struggle with binge eating disorder and leave it at that and then let her kind of go or him him or her let them control the conversation do not share too much information because had that woman not known as much as she did she would not have been able to use anything against me and she would not have made me feel as intensely horrible about myself as she made me feel. So to go over, hang up on them if you feel uncomfortable, don't be so free to give people your money, look at reviews, but also don't trust reviews because we all know that people pay for reviews. So I say go for someone who has the credentials or has the education to really help you with whatever it is that you're seeking help for. So I hope that this video helped you guys out. I really hope that nobody has been scammed in any kind of way. And if you have, share your experiences down below. I would love to hear and then also all of us to be aware of the scams that are going out there because this is just one, the one my experience is just one of many that are going on out there. So definitely help keep us educated down there if you've ever been through anything like this yourself. 
And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.